First, there were cannons, and the cannons were the sea god's weapons. The ship was larger, the armor thicker, the guns more massive. It seemed that dreadnoughts would rule the roost out at sea, but the heavens opened. And from there, iron birds fell into Arizona. Tear pits in Yamato, bringing calamity and destruction. indisputable fact today is that naval battles in the Pacific Ocean were won by American aircraft carriers, and in particular by a legendary trio, which I'll present to you right now. Independence was light and fast. She was redesigned from an unfinished Cleveland-class cruiser. Her main advantage was her amazing speed, which allowed her to play an active role in all major U.S. Navy operations in the Pacific Ocean. Yorktown was the first mass-produced, purpose-built aircraft carrier in the U.S. Navy. Fast, spacious, and well-equipped, this ship was part of the main strike force of the American fleet in the first years of World War II. And finally, a true legend, Essex. Large and fast, with powerful AA defenses and a numerous air group, she played a key role in the victories of the U.S. Navy in the Pacific Ocean in the last two years of World War II. Now, it's time to tell you how to manage this aircraft-carrying fleet so you can gain victories for your team and improve your personal performance. Each of the trio has only one standard squadron of torpedo bombers, which is supplemented by two tactical squadrons, attack aircraft and dive bombers. The tactical squadrons on these ships are available immediately. The sooner you bring them into battle, the more complete information about the enemy you will have. Moreover, they will get to their goal faster now due to their high takeoff speed. The torpedo bombers on Yorktown and Essex take less time to aim when releasing their torpedoes compared to other carriers, especially American ones. These aircraft are best used against slowly moving targets like battleships and heavy cruisers. The torpedoes aim more rapidly, they're more numerous than usual, and they travel faster. Starting from Tier 8, the bombers are capable of inflicting significant damage. The aircraft on Essex can drop a large number of bombs, and bringing them down won't be an easy task. The aircraft maintain their aim and altitude while maneuvering during an attack dive. The attack aircraft carry HE rockets with high armor penetration and chances of causing fire, which is why battleships playing against the new American aircraft carriers also have to be careful. And starting from Tier 8, tactical squadrons have access to Smoke Curtain Generator. Both attack aircraft and dive bombers can cover Allied ships caught in crossfire with smoke, or even their own ship if it's being pursued by the enemy. Their patrol fighters stand out for their larger-than-average patrol radius and more efficient target locking with a fast reload time. However, the range at which they spot other ships is limited. As for modifications, I recommend the following. Slot 1, Air Groups Modification 1. Slot 2, Aircraft Engines Modification 1. Slot 3, Torpedo Bombers Modification 1. Slot 4, Torpedo Bombers Modification 2. Slot 5, Squadron Consumables Modification 1. Slot 6, Air Groups Modification 2. Captain, have you caught the essence of our new legends? Do you want to try them out? Then boldly fly in the battle, and good luck.